So far, the stock has come down quite a bit while the company has come up. This discrepancy between how the company is performing and the stock price descending is creating one of the biggest opportunities we personally seen on the market today when weighing risk versus reward. In this video, we'll go over three key reasons why we think SoFi has a greater ability than ever to 10x, at least in our opinion. Disclaimer, we're not financial advisors and this is not financial advice, so always do your own due diligence. That being said, let's get into three key reasons why SoFi makes up over 95% of our entire stock market portfolio. By the way, this isn't for the faint of heart. There's a very popular saying, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. What's overlooked though, is that in some cases, the harder they've fallen, the bigger the upside. Now. Let's get into SoFi's upside and why SoFi's time to shine may be closer than everyone thinks. Number one, take a look at SoFi's short interest over time. Per the NASDAQ's website, SoFi's short interest reached an all-time high earlier this year, peaking between the months of February and April. But what's even more interesting is that since then, short interest in SoFi has been on a steady decline, meaning that the shorts are starting to abandon their positions. If there's anything we've learned from Tesla, it's that significant amounts of short interest can artificially keep a stock's price low. If you look at this chart of Tesla, you can see the blue line, which represents the percentage of Tesla's float that is being shorted. The red line represents Tesla's stock price. As you can see, shorts attacking can have major effects on the stock price. Not only do shorts add to the selling pressure, but most of them go to great lengths to join together and put out as much bad news about the company as possible. Now, as you can see, when Tesla's short interest led up, its stock price went ballistic. SoFi's short interest is getting lower by the month, which means SoFi's chances of going to the moon are becoming greater month by month. Reason number two. The student loan refinancing business should come back with a vengeance. The federal student loan moratorium is coming to an end later this year, assuming they don't extend it. When this happens, one of SoFi's most profitable and biggest businesses will come back online. Ladies and gents, do not forget that SoFi has been absolutely smashing records without this business. I can only imagine what future earnings and growth will look like when they get this baby back online. Since federal student loan payments are on pause, people have no reason to refinance, aka go to SoFi and refinance their student loans with them. Once payments resume, people will start feeling the weight and financial burden of those payments immediately and go to companies like SoFi in order to refinance. Number three, don't mine for gold. Instead, be the one selling the shovels. Luckily for us, SoFi is doing both. Fintechs are clearly the future of finance. Legacy banks have been doing everything in their power to modernize their systems, even going as far as acquiring promising fintechs. Shouts out to Fletch from the SoFi private Discord chat for sharing this in the group chat. By the way, for those of you who want to check it out, the link for that will be in the description and top pinned comment. Anyways, the fintech industry is quickly starting to seem like the modern day gold rush. SoFi is not only looking for gold, but also selling the shovels. SoFi itself is a fintech company, and not only that, but one that is gobbling up market share, which you can clearly see in these results. What most people forget though, is that they are also selling shovels to those storming the fintech space through their tech segment Galileo and newly acquired Technicis. Not only can SoFi create cutting edge technology for itself and custom tailor tech to its specific needs, but it can also sell that to others trying to take advantage of the fintech space as well. For example, take a look at Galileo and all the clients that they work with in the fintech space. So there you have it guys. Three key reasons why SoFi may go to the moon sooner than you think. For you Sophian soldiers in the trenches, we're still right here holding with you. Shout out to everyone in our SoFi private Discord chat who truly helped to make these videos possible. For those of you who want a place to talk all things SoFi stock and not annoy your family members, feel free to check out the link in the description and top pin comment below. Shouts out to our Patreons, Arthur Magazu, Wei Chu, Pietro Serra, Daniel Corbett, Mr. Welfare, Casey Patel, Jeff Sherman, Gregory Villar, Bo Park, Denzel, Shonda, Reginald Davis, Les Broadway, Christian Cardelfi, Kevin Bofrand, and Jay Bone, and can't forget about Alan. Shouts out to you guys for helping make these videos possible. Anyways, that wraps it up for today's video. Thanks for watching. We greatly appreciate it. And until next time, Sophie and Soldiers, peace.